Where's Nelson Aguilar? I don't know, but we might have found his burner account. Deal the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. Scary Cooper, asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. You're by the way, King Ding by here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. The Eagles got a big game this Sunday versus Seattle Seahawks. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But first, I gotta talk about this Nelson Aguilar burner account possibility situation because it's hysterical and here here's the thing i would say it was about eight o'clock seven or eight o'clock my time last night um shout out to evil maddox because he put something in my comment section of my last video and he's like yo basically like yo i think i found nelson aguilar's burner account and i'm like no way so i go check it and and you know it, it, it's just this like it's like Nelson Aguilar, you know, all the great things about him and, and it's talking about how Carson Wentz throws too hard and 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 he would catch things if it was thrown by Foles and, and he takes shots at Eagle fans and I'm like, there's no way this can be Nelson Aguilar's burn account. It just can't, it can't be, it can't be. Like, you know, but I thought it was funny and stuff like that. So, wake up this morning, get ready for work. I got 97.5 The Fanatic on. And they start talking about Nelson Aguilar's burner account. I'm like, there's no way. They're, 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 it's the same thing. So, I look and they're talking about the same exact Twitter account that I was looking at. And I'm like, oh my God, maybe this is his account. And what, what I didn't know was that Nelson Aguilar's middle name, I guess it's like... Efamuel or something like that, okay? Um, which which matches up with the Twitter account because the Twitter account is at Efam33. Now, I'm not saying they're putting out there. It's not something that everybody hasn't heard or doesn't know already. It's already way out there, so I'm not exposing this. If, if I was the only person talking about this, I wouldn't put it out. I wouldn't put the name out, but because it's on the radio, it's been on both radio stations, it's been on the internet, um... Yesterday, when I started following this account last night, I was his. I was the third third person to follow him. Since then, since this morning, last I saw, he's over fifteen hundred. So everybody's flooding this account, whether it's him or not. Now, I don't know if it's Nelson Aguilar. By all accounts, Nelson Aguilar is a stand-up guy. He's a good guy, and it's hard for me to believe that it is. But if it is, let's just say if it is, he's got it. You got to cut him. You gotta cut him. He's gotta go immediately. You have to cut him because he trashes Wentz. He trashes the Eagles fans. He trashes everybody. <laughs> Basically, you would have to cut him. Okay. Now we do know that Nelson Aguilar did disable his Instagram. I don't know if that's still the way it goes. I don't go to all these social media sites that much. So I don't know. But if this is Nelson Aguilar, burn count. I mean, I don't know. I mean, look. Brian Colangelo had a burner K, like three burner accounts. And that was such a bizarre story. Anything is possible at this point. I have no idea if it's him or not. So if you go check it out, be nice to the guy too. You at least know if it's him or not. But if it is him, he's got to go. He's got to go. And not only that, this would tell you exactly who the rat was, who the complainer was about Carson Wentz. You would then know who it is. If this is his account. That I don't know. But man, this this dude basically trashes Carson, loves foals. Carson throws the ball too hard. Um, you know, things like that. And uh, it's interesting. And, and there's a few things where he, he, he says like we instead of him, you know, referring to like the receivers or, or Nelson Aguilar himself. I don't know. It, 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 your guess is as good as mine. At this point, nothing shocks me, but this is hysterical. This is hysterical 
e either way. Um, so yeah, who who the hell knows? But shout out to Evil Maddox for put, for showing me this like eight o'clock last night before anybody was talking about. I don't know how you got this story out. To, I don't know, but it's awesome, dude. It's it's hysterical. But he, yeah, you would have to cut him. You would have to cut him if 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 it was him. It's it's crazy, you know. Man, you know you know what would be genius. You know what would be genius if it was Carson Wentz. If Carson Wentz made a fake burner account, a fake burner account of Nelson Aguilar, so he could blame Nelson Aguilar, so he could get rid of his ass. I would love it. That's evil genius stuff. You know what I mean? I love it. But who knows? You know, you, you, what do you guys think? You think it's his account? I, I don't know. I don't know. No, like I said, nothing surprises me. I want to see if this count goes like it gets shut down. If the guy comes out and goes like, hey, man, I'm not him. Who knows? It, it's going to be interesting. But whoever it is loves Nelson Aguilar. Could be maybe his family. Who knows? I don't know. But um, it's an interesting story going on going on right now. And you know what? I got to give a shout out to Ben Simmons. You see Ben Simmons yesterday? Boom. Hit that three. Boy, he looks good shooting. He needs to shoot more too. He looked he looked in rhythm. It, it was nice. Just had to put that out there. Now, you know, we got a tough game this week versus Seattle. There's no question. And and the fan base has been been at each other's throats. The the Carson haters, the Carson lovers, people think they suck, people think he's fine. It, it's horrible. It's just a horrible thing that happens. After you you lose, especially a game like that, a game to New England. But you know we get another chance this weekend. We got Seattle, and it's going to be a tough game. And I'll say this, because I, I I hear people saying this is a must game. This is a must game. If you don't win this game, you're done. And I got to tell you, that's not the case. Here's the truth: if the Eagles lose to Seattle, they have to run the table. If they run the table. They could win a division. Everything is coming down to that week 16 matchup with the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. It's coming to, to that. Uh, Cowboys are in New England. That's not an easy game for them. That's not a sure thing. They may lose. We may lose. Who knows? I mean, but all I know is this Seattle game is, is, imp is important. It's a bounce back game. I would love to win it. It's going to be very hard. It's going to be very hard. They scare me. Russell Wilson scares me to death. He's a great quarterback. In my opinion, I think Russell Wilson right now is the MVP. It's either him or Lamar Jackson. By They're, they're so far in front of anybody else, in my opinion. It's those two guys. Russell Wilson is a stud. He's got DK Metcalf. He's, I think they're saying Lockett's going to play. They have Josh Gordon. I mean, they have Clowney now coming on. He's starting to play well. They're, they're going to be tough to beat. But it's not possible. It's not possible. And we'll, we'll, I'll give you my prediction later in the week. But regardless, my point is this. Regardless, we got to play this thing out. You you still got to play Miami. You got to play the Giants twice. You got to play Washington. And you got to play Dallas. If you win those five games, you're going to win the division. You're going to win the division. Okay, and at this point, I don't see a point in just losing out and getting a better pick because you've already got five wins. You're not really going to get in the top 10. So people are saying, because I've had people say to me, we should just lose out and get a better pick. No, no, we want to win out and get to the playoffs. Now, look, I don't know how you beat New Orleans or Green Bay again or go to Seattle. I don't, I don't know how you do any of that. San Francisco, I don't know. But I think that the Eagles can at least win the division. It's still possible. They can win a division. They can then have a playoff game at home and win that game. I think that's all capable. I think that's all possible. And 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 look, I'll take it. I'll take it. If you if it means that week 16, right before Christmas, the Eagles defeat the Cowboys to take control of the division. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You know what I mean? Dingback Claws will love it. I will love it. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that's the case. But we'll find out. Um, it's going to be a tough game this week, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this season is far from over. This season is far from over. And we got to just hang in there, man. We got to hang in there. And, and then, you know what? In the off season, we got a lot of work to do, but we'll get to that when we get to it. In the meantime, I, I want to win this division and that's how I see it. With that said, take care. I will talk to you later and don't be a dingbat.